What's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. I'm Mike, this is Annie, and today we're drinking some whiskey. Now, uh, something I've been wanting to try for a while, I've never had this particular scotch before. Yes, we are back in the scotch kick after, I think we did some bourbon and Irish whiskey. Uh, we're back in the scotch kick today. Today we're doing Monkey Shoulder. Uh, it's very, very, become very, very popular uh, in terms of like the affordable scotches. Uh, I've read a lot of good reviews on it. It is a blended malt, which means, Annie, She'll explain that to you. Um, I can't remember what that means. <laughs> so blended malt is um, multiple single malts. Oh, okay. So yeah. in this particular case, uh, there's three, it's three Speyside single malt distilleries that have been blended together. Uh, in a blended scotch, it would be blended malts and blended, uh, excuse me, it'd be single malts and single grains all blended. This one, it's only, the only, um, Grain they use is malted barley in, in this particular one. Monkey, an interesting name too, Monkey Shoulder. You know where they got that name? No. According to what I read online, it was an affliction that affected uh, the malt flippers. Oh. In, uh, in the old days, obviously, working conditions were not great. Yeah. Uh, these poor saps, these, these fellows would be flipping malted barley uh, so that it didn't clump together during the malting process and they would get really slumped over after time shoulders like that and that's why that, that was it was called the monkey shoulder kind of a weird name and a way to name a scotch after something that's a pretty bad physical affliction that affected um, workers who were not treated very well but here we are and this is a, this is a space side blended malt in other words they use uh, three different space side distilleries and that's why you have three monkeys oh, that's what on the bottle, yeah, and he was like, was wondering if the three monkeys were the see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil, and evil then I thought, well, monkeys. Three monkeys are more fun than two. So. Of course, yeah, but less fun than four. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, there is a great. I got. I got to read this. Well, before we before we do it, there's a. Uh, I went on the monkey shoulder website. Their descri their description of monkey shoulder is this. Uh, some say it tastes like riding bareback on the wild moors of Scotland with a flame-haired maiden on Christmas morning. <laughs> I don't think we have to go on with our review. That's about, I don't think we can add anything to that whatsoever. So that is really hilarious. So I thought it was, uh, I thought it was a, great, <laughs> a great quote. So, But as always, first we do it straight up, then we do it on the rocks, then we do it normally with whiskey, Coca-Cola. Annie likes her scotch with lemonade, so that's why we do scotch with, uh, with the lemonade. What do you call that again, scotch it's and lemonade? It's a lemon scotch pie, I think yeah. it's called. Let's give it a try. Lemon scotch pie. Interesting. Glug, 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 glug. Yeah. All right. So. There's a, fl oh, there's a fly in there. No, there's Yes, there is. Mm. Oh, okay. oh, grab another one. <laughs> oh, no. Well, that is, a, that is a waste of good scotch right there. Yeah. Shit. I didn't check the... Anything in there? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Fly free. Okay, let's do this again. Glug, 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 glug. There's another one in here that means it's in the bottle. Not the oh, yes, that's true. I don't, I, like, I, I don't think it would be in the bottle. It, so. There's no way. Yeah, there's, yeah. yeah. It's not it probably, the, the, you know, I've had the glass. We haven't drank whiskey in a while. I've been on a bit of a health thing recently, so haven't been drinking as much. I'm sure that fly flew into this uh, Glen Karen glass at some point and died. But anyways, we digress. Enough about uh, flies. Uh, let's very musty on like 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 that musty barley smell on the nose, with yeah. I would say like there's an orange zest aroma in there as well. Yep. That's that's, that's very exactly yeah. Those what are the yep. Like <laughs> it's it it's 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 like it smells like the distillery, like the 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 the, the, the um, Scotch distilleries with orange zest. That's what I'm getting here. They do have the tasting notes and, and the um, and the nose on the back. I kind of looked it over, but uh, I try to like to find it for myself. But uh, well, anyways, assholes and elbows. So very forward, the very the the overwhelming, oh, the overwhelming flavor profile on that on the palate is vanilla and butterscotch. Uh, which is not surprising, given it's a space side scotch. It burned a little bit. Yeah. Did it? Yeah. I'm not sure. I find that not too bad. Uh, but a very, very interesting finish. Let me try that again. Hang on. 
The fin okay, so the finish is like Christmas flavors. Mm -hmm. You get that like 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 what I mean? Cinnamon, yeah. I'm getting nutmeg and I'm getting like a like a candy cane. So I guess maybe you, you like a peppermint, maybe something like that, or spearmint. It, it tastes to me like nutmeg, and it can't like 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 I said, Christmas. But um, I like this. I think this is pretty good. Spoiler alert for the end, but hmm, I think that that is very drinkable and very friendly. Is it still burning in a little yeah, bit? Yeah, a little bit. I don't get a really harsh burn on that. I don't know if it's just because I haven't drinking scotch in a while, or... Maybe. Like, that third sip was much better than the first two. Maybe you're, you just have to get used to it. Yeah. Well, the first sip of scotch, as, so I've heard, your first sip, well, any whiskey, yeah. first sip of any whiskey is supposed to be, like, your first sip of hot coffee, where you just, like, that, like just that little bit, and it gets your... Because the, the burning feeling, really, is the pain receptors on your tongue saying, hey, stupid, this is poison, <laughs> don't drink this, you know? But I'm going to move this a bit closer. I feel like we're a little bit apart today. We're supposed to be a couple, yeah, Annie. Oh, uh, there's also some interesting news, too. We're digressing <laughs> a little bit here again. But uh, Annie got her, gave herself a bit of a boo-boo this week. Yeah. What'd you do? I uh, rolled my ankle on the sidewalk and broke it. She was walking on the sidewalk <laughs> and broke her ankle. My girlfriend, the class. <laughs> Pretty much did the same thing going yeah. to the Metallica concert. Yeah, she broke her foot going to the Metallica concert four years four ago. Four yeah. uh, Is using the same boot that they yeah. gave her. <laughs> at the hospital last time. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. -mm. Is it better with them? Yes. It, it, you know, I liked it straight up. I think you're going to like that on the rocks there. Mmm. That, oh. that Christmas aroma comes out even more there. But it's, it's, it's very nicely balanced with vanilla, caramel, butterscotch. I'm tasting, I'm tasting the orange Zest yeah. A little bit more in this. Yes. Yeah. You know. You, now that you mention it, um, the class, the, the very classic Scotch flavors in here, uh, are are balanced really nicely with these really sort of interesting nuances. I I quite like this. Yeah. I'll tell you. I'll tell you that. But it's it, it is very is a, it is a very space side esque Scotch that I'm tasting here. I think I which I mentioned before. So well, let's try your Scotch. Lemon pie. Want some more? Yeah, throw a little bit more uh, scotch in there. Oh, there we go. That's your drink. Give her. Uh, damn fly. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, I would say do it. It's I would say frozen. the hell with that. Well, yeah, no, you can, you get really, it can get you really sick, obviously, drinking flies. <laughs> well. Oh. Yeah. Holy shit, that is really good. God damn. I, I actually, another thing I read in the review, uh, the few reviews that I, I did a lot of <laughs> research on this particular one. Uh, it said it is a favored um, scotch of bartenders for mixing cocktails. Oh. For mixing, mixing scotch cocktails, and I can see why. That is that is delicious. Damn. Okay. Well, if you've watched this whole video, you're sort of going to know what we're going to say about this. But uh, Annie, what do you think ultimately of Monkey Shoulder? It's really good. Yes. Well, yeah. We, we give it a thumbs up. I do. Yeah. yeah, I give it a thumbs up too. Monkey, okay. I, I, <laughs> Monkey Shoulder blended scotch whiskey. Oh, excuse blended. me. Blended malt whiskey. I almost scotch, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, blended scotch, blended scotch and blended malt are, are, are two different things. So there is a blended grain as well. I've never had a blended grain though, that, that, to my knowledge. Maybe we'll, we'll look high and low for that. So yes, I'm definitely, uh, I'm going to rave about this to be quite honest. I'm going to give this a massive thumbs up. I liked it all three, three ways. This is a, not a very expensive scotch either. This is very affordable. I think I paid $52 for this. At the LCBO, yeah. and that's when Scotch prices and whiskey prices in general have gone up. They, they're quite a bit yeah. higher, obviously during this uh, this pandemic than they have been in the past. We've noticed. Um, I'm going to say this is excellent for people who want to give Scotch a try, but aren't sure if they like it yet, and don't want to break the bank. They don't want to spend too much. They don't want to spend 
two hundred dollars on, on on a Delmore Scotch or one hundred twenty dollars on a Delmore Scotch, and not and realize like oh, I don't really like like it too much. And it is also great, absolutely without question, for uh, mixing if you're going to mix a Scotch cocktail. So all in all, big thumbs up from both of us from Monkey's shoulder. Pretty cool. Yeah, not for oh, nothing. Like interesting. There's three monkeys yep. right there. There's three monkeys on the top. The only thing I I, I think the the that the label could have been a bit. I think the label's a little too yeah. plain, plain Jane, but but uh, other than that, looks it's pretty too, cool. Too like old timey Western movie ish. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> you know, being a monkey shoulder there, bartender. <laughs> uh, it was a bad impression. So, alrighty, uh, next one that's up. I think we're gonna do some Crown Royal. Going back to the Canadian theme. So, but uh, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you soon with some more whiskey.